A market in African culture is a place where producers of diverse kinds of products come to sell and exchange goods. A market in African culture is never a place where people get goods from foreign land and come to sell to frustrate all the local producers and make everyone money dependent. If you look into the pictorial view of your ancestral market system, you will discover that in a market day, every man begins to come to the market with the products he produces in his own indigenous home. Maybe his plantain, maybe his yam, maybe his palm wine, maybe his uh, abo, maybe his fan fan, anything. Maybe his blacksmith something, maybe his ogene, anything at all that was locally produced by the people. And therefore the people who come to sell on account of that, the people are dependent upon themselves to reproduce the things they need, the things they use, and the things that are sold in the market system. Immediately the white men came and introduced a marketplace system where people go to foreign land, bring foreign products, and come down to the market center to frustrate the indigenous producers. Automatically, Africans have been made to shift their gaze from productivity to money. And therefore, money now makes us money dependent. And the problem is that money don't solve problems. Mm -mm. Money encourages trading and establish poverty in a nation because money has begun to do for us things that we are supposed to do for ourselves and that's why high level of inflection is ravaging africa today because we have been we have been pushed or ch changed from the age of productivity to sell and uh, a, man, a man today beats his chest and tell you i'm a businessman then you tell the man what business are you into he says i'm i'm, a, I'm into generator he says wow so where are you producing generator the man says ah the twenty thousand feet container generator is on the sea it's coming down sir where are you producing it he says no i'm i'm just going out to bring it into my nation it's an embarrassment to our current intelligence if the education system that was brought was actually meant to be productive it was supposed to be in a way that if they are building gen that place you will be building generator here if they are producing car, we will be producing car here. If the engineers who are building bridge, we will be building bridges and constructing road. When they want to construct road, they go and bring an Arab and bring the white people. It's because the education system they gave you have no functional knowledge. It have no application. It's just making you to read and not to reason and not to solve any human problem. Because anytime education is not solving problem, it makes you totally dependent. So the education was actually a way of trapping the productivity life palm of the youth, so that the youth or the society can be dependent on money. When the society depends on money. We become useless. That's the reason why anytime dollar is rising and we are panicking. Dollar have no effect on people that are producing what they are using. In the days of your ancestors, when they produce their food, when they produce everything they need in their home, if dollar is rising, it's none of their business because they are not dependent. But when dollar is rising, you remember your foreign rice is going to come down from there. Your heart skip. When dollar is rising, you remember your phone is going to come down from dollar. Your heart skip. When dollar is rising and you remember everything you need in your room, in your facility, is going to be coming down from that place. Automatically, you will lose the peace of life. That's why we or a product or mediocrity under the white man dollar today. He have no business on people that can produce. Our market system was never built on people that know how to do Osafia. Most of 80% of Igbo business to men today are just Osafia people. Mm -mm, you are not a businessman. In business, business starts from productivity. When you don't produce what you are selling, you are just selling on your Osafia. It's called middleman. Middleman is less like those people in our Tanzanian market that doesn't have a shop. Their assignment is to ask you what you want. They collect money from you, rush to somebody's shop and buy. The same thing that person is doing is the same thing you that have a shop where you are selling that thing is doing. You just travel down to China, buy a, gener a generator at a cheaper rate, come down here, you add extra times too. If you make profits much more than the person that produced the generator. You are a wicked man. And you say you are a businessman. No, you are not doing business. You are just manipulating the site and making everybody in the, in the system poor. It's time for us to produce that which we use in our economy. If only and if only Africa will become strong again. It's not oratory. Our government can engineer it. When we are talking about African revolution, we are talking about African renaissance, restoration of our waste system, our marketplace is supposed to hold only our products.